welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian. I am a stay-at-home mom to two little ones. I'm also a special needs mom to my daughter who is autistic and I enjoy doing a lot of different videos over here on my channel. I do motherhood, lifestyle, cleaning. I also do some DIYs and vlogs every once in a while. So I hope you would consider subscribing because I would really love to have you join my YouTube family. So for today's video, as you guys can see from the title, it is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. So I went to Dollar Tree yesterday. I went in for two things. I went in for a birthday card and also some more bathroom cups for the kids' bathroom. And I walked out with two bags because I can never go into Dollar Tree and just walk out with one or two things. Um, I'm actually proud of myself. I didn't buy as much as I usually buy, but I saw they had a lot of new things out. So they have out a lot of spring items, but I also see that they are pulling out Mother's Day items. So I picked up a few items that were not on my list, but I thought I would do like a little haul for you guys really quickly, just to show you what is new at Dollar Tree, at least at my location. So. The first thing I bought was this folder. It is by the brand Jot. It's just this white folder that has these different color like arrows and stars. So what I plan on doing with this is putting a lot of Madison's stuff in here. So she has a lot of like doctor paperwork and stuff for school because she is getting registered right now to go to school um, next school year. So she just has a lot of paperwork and it's sitting in the junk drawer and like this really old vanilla envelope and it's falling apart. So. I just picked this up so I can put everything in here and can be nice and safe and not get messed up. So that's the first thing I bought. Then I bought four cards. So I love to buy my cards from Dollar Tree. I don't like spending six, seven dollars on cards. So I'm just gonna toss to the side and throw out probably. So I always get my cards from Dollar Tree. They're only a dollar, so I think it's worth it. But these were even better. These were only two for a dollar. So they were 50 cents each. I got four. I got some Mother's Day cards and then I also got a birthday card. So my grandma's birthday um, is this week. So I need to send out her birthday card. So I found that this one I thought was really cute and it just says happy birthday grandma with a bunch of really pretty flowers and then with a cute little pink envelope. And then I picked up three Mother's Day cards. So this first one is for my grandma. It says, grandma, your love is a blessing with some teacups and flowers and then purple all around and it is glittery. I thought that was really cute. So I grabbed that one for my grandma. Then obviously got one for my mom. This one is like a little vase with flowers and also a cupcake. It's also glittery as well. It says happy mother's day. And then the last one is for my sister. And this one has a bunch of flowers with glitter as well. And then inside of this one, I really loved that it had like a little um, verse from the Bible right here in the corner. So this one is for my sister and they all have these really pretty um, pink envelopes. So those are all the cards that I bought. Next, I bought two of these magnetic list pads. I love buying my list pads from either Dollar Tree or Target's Dollar Spot. I like to keep these on the side of my refrigerator. I write um, my list of things that I need throughout the week so I don't forget. So the one I have now is running really, really low, so I needed to get another one. So I grabbed this one for myself. This one just says Girl Boss. It is pink and then has like a marble background. So that is how it looks. Hopefully you guys can see it with this lighting. And then in the back, it just has the magnet. And then I grabbed a second one for my mom. This one has a pie and like just a bunch of like cherries. I thought that one was really cute as well. So I'm gonna send my mom a Mother's Day package and I thought this would be cute to throw in there. And then it has magnets in the back as well. The next item is this photo frame. It's just a plain white, or not plain white, just a plain wooden um, picture frame. So I thought this would be a really great idea to put a picture of the kids in here and then let them paint the um, little picture frame and then put it in my mom's Mother's Day package. I think that would be really cute and she would really enjoy it. So I don't know if I'm gonna let them both paint this and put a picture of them together in here, or if I'm just gonna let Ryan paint this, put a picture of himself in here, and then go back and get the butterfly one, let Madison paint that one, and put a picture of herself in that one. The reason why I didn't pick up the butterfly one is because Madison really isn't into like painting. She doesn't care for it. So I don't know, we'll see, but I grabbed that. Next, I bought this pack of pens that I just opened up because I wanted to show you guys um, how it looks because you can't really see it in the packaging. It's a pack of three pens. I don't know how well they will write, but they were three of them in a pack for a dollar. So they're really pretty and they have a bunch of like different flowers all over them. And I thought we'd try these out because I'm always losing my pens. 
Then I bought these two coasters for my mom that I will also be putting in her little Mother's Day um, gift box. But this first one says best mom ever and they are coasters. And it says best mom ever in gold and then has, I don't know if you guys can see, has um, flowers in the background. And then the second one says home is where mom is and it's in gray. I thought that was really pretty as well. So I really liked these because they are tile. They're not like um, paper, like cardboard or plastic. So I feel like they will last a really long time. So I thought this was really great quality for a dollar. So I grabbed two of those. And then I bought these florals. I love buying my florals from Dollar Tree because they're super pretty and super cheap. So these are just lilacs. So I got one in this white color and then I got this one in the like a royal blue color and just thought those were really pretty so I grabbed those because I plan on putting it in this it's just like this little milk glass bottle and that's how this looks so I grabbed this and I was thinking about maybe spray painting it like with white chalk paint and then tying around here some like twine or something and then putting these in here as decor I don't know if I should paint it or if I should leave it clear let me know in the comments down below if you guys think I should keep it clear and just wrap like little twine around it or if I should paint it with chalk paint so I'm up in the air I don't know which one I'm gonna do but that's what I grabbed this for so I can put these flowers in it and I might go back grab two more so I can have like a set of three I don't know but that's what I bought and then I bought these fake nails so I usually always buy the Kiss Nails and I've never tried any other brand of fake nails just because I'm obsessed with the Kiss Nails, but I found these. These are by the brand LA Colors. I grabbed two boxes because it comes with 12 nails, but I don't know if they are 12 different sizes or if there's have like a matching set to it. So I grabbed two just in case, but I usually wouldn't go for something like this, but I'm trying to go out of my comfort zone a lot more often or as of recently, I don't know if you guys can see, but I just thought those were really cute. So I grabbed two boxes and I will try these out soon. This does not come with the glue. It just comes with like, I think the stickies. I don't plan on using that. What I plan on doing is using my Kiss nail glue to use with this and see how and seeing how that works and how long it lasts. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to update you guys on how these work out. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, definitely follow me on Instagram because I do a lot of updates on there as well. I'll probably update you guys on there as well. So I also picked up this box of just like paper cups. I use these in the kids' bathroom. So this comes with 36 and it's Mickey Mouse. So I just grabbed that. They have a bunch of other designs, but I just grabbed one box. And then I picked up these picture frames that I thought were so cute. So this one says, love for the moment or love for the moment, live for the moment. And it's black, it's actually um, plastic, but it looks like it's wood. And then it has a little saying there and it has like a little clip that you can clip a picture. I thought that was really cute. And then I picked up another one in gray and this one says faith, family, and friends. Same thing, it's plastic, but it looks like it's wooden with a little clip and you can hang a picture frame you can hang a picture and I just thought those were really cute so I grabbed those two then I also grabbed this picture frame that I thought was really pretty I thought I could put this in Madison's room because her room is um gold white and pink themed it is a gold glitter picture frame so it's just gold all around and has glitter I thought that was so cute because she broke her previous um, picture frame that was in her room so I thought I could replace it with this one so the last two items are candles that I'm obsessed with so I was watching a fellow youtuber I was watching her Dollar Tree haul forgot who it was I'm gonna find her and link her down below but I was watching her haul and she hauled these and I was like I need those candles she had said in her haul that she feels like she can find candles that look like these in like anthropology or just like a high-end department store and I totally agree with her these candles are so pretty I feel like you can definitely find something similar to this like in a high-end store they would probably overprice it but this one says karma and it is a frankincense and vanilla candle and then this one is zen and this one's white ginger and amber I just think the packaging is so pretty you guys like I am obsessed I might go back for some more so I didn't just like her I didn't buy these to really scent up my house because I'm pretty sure if I light it you're not going to really be able to smell it because they are from Dollar Tree but I bought it more for decor so I'll probably still like them because I think it'll look really pretty when it is lit 
but I bought it more for decoration and I'm obsessed. So if you guys love candles like me, definitely go to Dollar Tree and see if you can find these because they are super pretty. I think that, yeah. That was the last item that I bought from Dollar Tree this time around. I do plan on doing a few DIYs. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to start bringing back my DIYs. I stopped for a while just because I feel like they don't get much um, attention or a lot of views. But if you guys would like me to start bringing them back, I definitely will. So let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Dollar Tree haul on what I found at my local Dollar Tree. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button, subscribe to my channel. I would really love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I do upload a new video. My schedule is usually Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but every once in a while I will upload an extra bonus video. So make sure your notification bell is on so you don't miss out on any of those videos. As always, thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.